What is ABA therapy? Applied Behavioral Analysis Therapy is an approach to treatment that focuses on using positive reinforcement to improve behavioral, social, communication and learning skills. ABA therapy utilizes behavioral principles to set goals, reinforce behaviors and measure outcomes. This approach is often described as the gold standard in the treatment of autism. It is widely used and has been shown to be effective for improving specific skills and decreasing problem behaviors. It is also controversial because it has been seen as disrespectful and even dehumanizing at times. ABA therapy is rooted in the principles of behaviorism, particularly operant conditioning and the use of rewards and consequences to mold behavior. Types of ABA therapy A number of different types of interventions can be used as part of ABA therapy. Discrete trial training DTT Discrete trial training DTT involves breaking a skill down and teaching it step by step. The three components of this process include the antecedent, a cue that triggers the behavior, the behavior, the response to the cue, the conclusion. What happens after the response? When the behavior has been successfully produced, the individual will receive positive reinforcement but will not be rewarded if they do not successfully produce the desired response. Early Intensive Behavioral Intervention This approach may be used in young children to teach social, adaptive communication and functional skills. It is usually highly individualized, intensive and comprehensive. Early Start Denver Model This technique is based on applied behavior analysis and is often used for children with autism between the ages of 12 and 48 months. It utilizes play activities to help foster cognitive, social and language skills. Natural Environment Training after people have acquired skills through discrete trial training, they then begin learning and practicing those skills in more natural environments. For example, a child may learn a specific skill and then begin practicing it at home or in school. ABA therapy is also often delivered in two different ways. It can be used as a comprehensive program that provides intensive intervention in many environments and situations. Or it can be part of a more focused program that may involve only specific behaviors or situations. Comprehensive ABA therapy. This approach delivers treatments that usually last for several hours each a day. A therapist or behavior technician works with the individual for at least several hours each week and often in different contexts, such as in both home and school settings. Therapists work directly with the individual but may also work with parents and caregivers to teach skills that can be used outside of ABA therapy sessions. Focused ABA therapy. This type of treatment may focus on helping an individual in a specific situation where they are facing difficulty. It may also focus on specific skills that an individual needs to work on. The individual often work one-on-one -on -one with a therapist but they may also practice these skills in small groups or in community settings. Techniques ABA therapy usually involves a few different steps. Treatment plans are tailored to the needs of the individual. Assessment Assessment is the first step of ABA therapy. During this stage, the child or individual will meet with a therapist who asks questions about strengths, weaknesses, needs and goals. From this information, the professional will develop a treatment plan. Treatment will involve using different techniques to work toward the individual's goals. Treatment sessions can sometimes be as short as an hour but they can often last for several hours at a time. Caregiver training Caregiver training involves offering support and training to parents and other caregivers and family members. Therapists teach parents and family members skills and strategies that will help maintain desirable behaviors in the home, school and community settings. What ABA therapy can help with? ABA therapy can be used for a variety of conditions including anxiety disorder, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, autism spectrum disorders, borderline personality disorder, developmental disorders, Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, Post Traumatic Stress Disorder, Sleep Problems, Substance Use Disorders.